Leaders from around San Diego say they're working to make students safer after they say someone emailed a threat to shoot up a Poway Unified Elementary School. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcella has the night off. I'm Jesse Pagan. A man is in jail tonight, but uneasiness on campuses remain. CBS 8's Jenny Day tells us what local leaders are now doing. Parents from Poway Unified were able to hear from San Diego police, their council member, Marnie Von Wilper, as well as the San Diego City Attorney and the District Attorney's Office, all following a threat of mass violence at Shoal Creek Elementary. I didn't want to send her back to school. We're scared, we're confused. We want to partner with you to be the change. Emotional parents tonight speaking before a distinguished panel of public officials. Well, in our district, we're quite proud of test scores, but I'm going to tell you, Safety's number one. The San Diego Police Department takes these threats very, very, very seriously. There is no bigger priority for me than keeping our schools and this community safe. This comes 12 days after 38-year-old Lee Lohr allegedly sent an email threatening violence at Shoal Creek Elementary. We uh, had the suspect identified and in custody within three hours of receiving that information. Making a criminal threat is a felony charge. According to court paperwork, Lohr targeted the school because, quote, it's where the neighbor kids attend school. If convicted, he could face anywhere from probation to three years in prison. And the majority of these incidences someone new. That's why at tonight's meeting, local leaders stressed utilizing our red flag law. That means action can be taken even before a crime is committed. A threat is enough. The city attorney says she can get a gun violence restraining order within an hour. So truly, if you see something, say something and teach your kids the same. Parents uh, often are thinking, I don't want to be a burden to anybody. I don't know if somebody's going to do something. I'm afraid to make that call. Please make that call. The San Diego Police Department has a full team dedicated to preventing gun violence, but parents want more. They talked about everything from metal detectors, enhanced security at entrances, and forming a neighborhood watch. We just have to organize a little bit more and step up. Also better and faster communication about what's going on. What happened to a lockdown? What happened to the communication? Now, the man who was arrested for this threat will remain behind bars until at least the end of March. That's his next court appearance. So until then, please take and share that there are resources out there to prevent violence. Reporting tonight from Poway, Jenny Day, CBS 8.